If you want to understand epic sharing in the most simplest manner, you are on the correct video. So let's first understand the prerequisite. Right now, the opportunity OWD is kept as private and I'm logged in as Salesforce in five minutes user inside Chrome, who is a CEO. And I'm logged in as Raju Shivasta inside Edge, who is a COO. So basically, whatever records that will be owned by Salesforce in five minutes won't be available to Raju. So right now I have one opportunity. The owner of the opportunity is Salesforce in five minutes user. So if I'm going to open this record as Raju Shivasta, where I'm logged in as Chrome, let's see whether I'm able to view that record or not. So the simplest answer is I am unable to view that record. Now let's move to the sharing part. Let's understand the sharing part. Now, whenever you're going to create any kind of object, whether it is a standard object or a custom object, let's say I created a custom object named as test. Automatically what Salesforce does is it will create a test share object. Okay. It will automatically create one more object named as test share. You don't need to do it. Salesforce does it on its own. Okay, I can demonstrate to you as well. For an example, I had created many of the custom object. Uh, for an example, let's say uh, parent MD, right? Parent lookup object. I had created this object. Along with that, automatically, if you see parent MD share, right? Automatically, this parent lookup share, all these objects are automatically created. I did not create it. I just created parent lookup object, but automatically, parent lookup underscore underscore share object was created by Salesforce itself. I don't need to work on it, right? So what happens is whenever you're going to create a standard or a custom object, automatically Salesforce creates a share object along with that. Now this whole and sole responsibility of this test share or share object is used for APEC sharing purposes. So now what I'm going to do is, as you can see already, Raju Srivastava is not able to access this opportunity. We are going to share this particular opportunity that we have to Raju Srivastava using APEX. So let's dive in. So first I'm going to open an anonymous window. I am removing the system.debug and I am going to start writing the code. Now, as we are going to share the opportunity object, there should be share object of opportunity as well. So let's search for this share object. Find open resources. Opportunity. Share. So as you can see, opportunity share object is available, right? Now I'm going to query all almost all the fields for now being so that I can easily write my code as far as I need. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an instance of opportunity share object in my anonymous window. Let's name it as OPS equals to opportunity share. Sorry, equals to new opportunity share. Next point is that whom, which record do I want to share with? Okay, so OPS dot which record I want to share, I can specify it within the, uh, we call it as uh, where it is opportunity ID. Okay, using OPS dot opportunity ID, which record do we want to share? We want to share this particular opportunity record, right? So let's copy paste the ID of this record. Let's paste it. So now which record we want to share? We have provided it. Now, next question is whom do we want to share the record with? So that you can specify it using user or group ID. So OPS.user or group ID, you can specify the user ID whom you want to share the record with. So right now I'm going to provide the ID of Raju Shivas, the user. Let's come back to our code. Yeah. So what I've done is first I provided the opportunity ID. Okay. Which record exactly do I want to share next? I provided whom I want to share the record with. I want to show you the record with Raju Shivasto. Next, what I'm going to do is I have to also specify what level of access I need to provide. So OPS dot, if you can see opportunity level access, access level, right? Using this, you can specify what kind of access do you want? Let's say I just want to give the read access using Apex sharing. Now, once that is done, all you have to do is database dot insert OPS, sorry, OPS comma false. Now what I have done is basically I created an opportunity share object. As I already told you, Salesforce automatically creates a share object for you. Then I provided which record I want to share. Okay. Which record I want to share. Next, whom do I need to share the record with? And next, what kind of access do we need to provide? Okay, next, as soon as you do, 
automatically just insert the record opportunity share record in using database.insert once we do it let's see what happens okay the execution is done previously Raju Shivasta was not able to access this particular opportunity let's see whether he is able to access it or not now as you can see Previously, Raju Shivastu was not able to access this opportunity. Now, he is able to access this opportunity. But if you remember that the access level that I have provided to Raju Shivastu is just read. So, let's try whether he is able to edit or not. Okay, I am getting an error. Oops, you don't have necessary privileges because I have shared this particular record with the read access. If I want, I can write read write or read write transfer as per as the need. But here right now, I've just provided the read access to this particular record. Now, when do we use next question would be when do we use this? Okay, that's fine. Now we understood how the opportunity or how we can use sharing APEC sharing. But when exactly do we use the APEC sharing? Now, there are two sample reasons we use APEC sharing. Okay, one of them is let's say let's say for an example when an account is updated okay you are creating an up, uh, when an account is updated you update the contact okay and on updation of the contact you update the opportunity as well okay on, and uh, and on a specific value of opportunity specific value of opportunity what you want to do is you want to share the account okay so for an example an account is updated you updated the contact and then you updated the opportunity and whenever the value of an opportunity is specific in that case you have to share the account now this is not possible using sharing rules you cannot do this using sharing rules sharing rules is very straightforward but if you want to do this kind of crazy sharing in that cases apex sharing comes handy the another way or another reason to use apex sharing is nothing but if you want to share only a record okay if you want to just share one record okay or even you can share the list of the records but if you want to share only one record right now specific record of a specific condition to a specific user in that cases again the apex sharing comes handy so these are the only two reasons or there can be many reasons but these are the major reasons why we use apex sharing in salesforce if you found this video helpful i request you to please like this video and subscribe to my channel